Hello viewers and welcome to the very first episode of Welcome to Lancer, where I will be reviewing fan-made Lancer content, mostly, meshs. In today's episode, Houdini, from Magnum Opus Interstellar, by Ike Irio. Before I moved on to the main course of this episode that's the Houdini, I would like to first briefly review the core bonuses of Magnum Opus Interstellar. After all, you get to play with them once you fully unlock Houdini. Coming from a company that specializes in bling gate construction, the core bonus is available to you are rather defensive in nature, in very interesting ways. Blink Space Shepard gives you a wide protective aura that causes hostile characters to be unable to teleport any characters including you with an aura into the area. Allied characters instead get to teleport even when intersecting with occupied space, if that happens, the characters can be placed at the nearest unoccupied spaces instead. Very useful even if your party didn't use teleportation much. Last Gasp makes your mech capable of operation even after it has been destroyed until the end of your next turn. Essentially, you can keep on going even after dying. No repair or other effects can prevent or delay this destruction and any damage will have no effect when this happens. If you want to finish the mission no matter what, this is the core bonus for you. Hygrimantia is perfect for those that likes to use drones as when you deploy or move a drone with a quick action, you can deploy or move a drone from a different system as a free action. Magus Vision forces any hidden characters that end their turn 5 spaces from you to make a system save as otherwise they will lose hidden. Tired of getting backstabbed by hidden characters? Get this instead. Digital Guardian allows you to give cover penalty against tech attacks and smart weapon attacks, even if they would normally ignore the penalty. Nearby allies could also use you as a hard cover against such attacks. This is a rather powerful core bonus as this is one of the few passive ways one could be protected from attacks that target E-Defense. Soulstone Do you want to make a contract? And that's about it for Soulstone. A versatile core bonus that requires some close range fighting for a quick recharge. Anyway, that's all on Magnum Opus Interstellar core bonuses now so let's move on to the main core- Hold on a second. What? Did you make this whole core bonus section to avoid the fact that you have no idea how to make intro for this mech? Fuck you! Hold on a second, something is missing. Right, you will do. Houdini, a word that people seem to use sometimes instead of just magician. I guess some people might not expect that Harry Houdini is in fact a very real person. A Hungarian-born American illusionist and escape artist, the various magic acts Houdini have acted made their very impression onto the modern pop culture. Funny enough, Houdini also, didn't believe in supernatural power and spent part of his career on debunking people from making up bullshit. Which makes it even more of a hilarity when Houdini the mech used unexplainable paracausal tech to teleport itself and people around the battlefield with many tricks up its sleeves. Looking at its stat, while its base health is low, it has armor and it evasion and e-defense are quite good. It has a good speed, poor heat cap, but it has an excellent sensor range with great tech attack bonus. As for its traits, it has three of them. Smoke and mirrors, let Houdini teleport up to its speed when it braces after the triggering attack has resolved. Escape Artist, make Houdini unable to be slowed or immobilized by others. However, that doesn't exclude Houdini from not affecting itself. Lastly, Exposed Reactor causes Houdini to get plus one difficulty in engineering checks and saves. So stay the hell away from fire. As for its weapon mount, Houdini has only one which is interestingly, a heavy mount. It also has eight base system points, which is freaking massive. As for its core power, Houdini can activate Blink Space Shifter for Grand Illusion. Upon activation with the full action, every single allied character within Houdini's sensor range is now hidden and does not need cover to hide until the end of their turn. You can also swap any number of your allies like a deck of cards within your sensor range by teleporting them. This is a great core power as for basically one turn, your enemies cannot shoot straight at your allies and you can switch up your allies around for better positioning. Onto the rest of the license, you get showstopper and hidden corridors in the first section. Showstopper is a reaction system that you have to charge first with a quick action. After charging, once per round, when you are your ally in range 5 of you is getting targeted by a tech attack, you can contest it with your own tech attack roll as a reaction. If your roll is higher, the attack automatically misses. However, the system only holds one charge but it lasts until the end of the s- Wait a second, I feel like I have talked about this before. 
hidden corridors, turns you into a Schrodinger's cat. Basically, you technically exist in two spots at once, and when you move or boost, you can teleport if no hostile characters can see you at the starting point or ending point. In the second section, aside from the frame itself, you get Laughing Trickster and Blackstone system upgrade. Laughing Trickster, probably has one of the most unsubtle name among all systems because I'm feeling exactly like one when using it. Basically, for once per round, when an enemy missed an attack on you or a nearby allies that target E-defense, like say a tech attack or smart weapon attack, you can spend a charge from the system to automatically whack the guy back in their face with said attack. Sure, the system has limited tag and you can only install one of it at a time, but this is freaking hilarious. Blackstone system upgrade is an invasion upgrade that grants two more options. First, hypnotism, causes the target to lose communication with its allies and they cannot voluntarily make any movement away from you until the end of your next turn. Vanishing act instead causes one of the target's systems with loading or recharge tag to suddenly be unloaded or uncharged, as if something has suddenly, vanished without a trace. In the final section, you get the Magician's Cane and Copperfield system upgrade. Magician's Cane is a heavy class melee weapon that, while doing a very low amount of damage, can stun people on hit until the end of their turn which is insanely powerful. Sure, you can only stun the same target this way once per scene, but this is genuinely ridiculous. Copperfield system upgrade is also another invasion upgrade that grants two more options. First, Trapdoor, simply teleports the target up to four spaces at an empty space. Crescendo, makes it so that when new target gains heat, Every hostile character three spaces from them will also get cooked by the same amount of heat until the end of your next turn. However, Crescendo can only work on the same target once per scene. As a conclusion, Houdini is a trickster with so many tricks up his sleeves it went straight back to being dangerous for being so unpredictable. If you want to play your enemies around so much that the battlefield turns into a show, this is the mech for you. Oh yeah. I guess I did say something about the gift for all contestants in this fan contest. It's simple, remember when I said only the winner of the fan contest gets to have a trash talk episode about their mech- I lied. That's right people. You all are getting an episode for your submissions. It's gonna take a long while, and it's gonna be a lot of effort coming from me, but who cares. Have a good day, and I shall see you all next time.